Thank you, Chair Chairwoman. Um, I would give my spot to the governor if he wanted to go next. Thank you. No, go ahead. Okay. Thank you. I want to hear what you have to say. Um, I didn't prepare anything because this I've been doing this since 1997. And I've been with Tony. This year we celebrate 32 years. In 2006, we were married in Canada. I'm a past chair of Marriage Equality. I'm one of the founders of Marriage Equality in Rhode Island. I was elected in 2007 in a special election as chair of Marriage Equality. Um, some of my constituents have been calling me and telling me that I didn't run as an openly gay man, but as you know, I did. And I've been elected since 2007, 2008, 2010. This last election, I had no opponent. I don't think that gay marriage is an issue for anybody's election. Uh, it's a civil rights. Um, I know that the NCAA, what is it, NCAAP? NAACP, thank you. I'm a little nervous, I usually am. Thinks it's a civil rights issue. And it is a civil rights issue because myself, as your colleague, doesn't have the same right with his partner that you have for you to get married and have the same civil rights. You're going to hear a lot of negative and a lot of accusations about my lifestyle, but you know, you know me, most of you, except for some of the new representatives. You know who I am. You know what kind of representative I am. My constituents know what kind of representative I am. And I'm part of my neighborhood. Um, I have, we have a great neighborhood. We work together to better our neighborhood. I'm secretary of the Neighborhood Association. I've been doing that, for, I don't know, for about 15 years or so. You're talking about real human beings who have a real need, as myself. And I just I keep going back to something that I, I saw the movie Lincoln lately. And there's one scene in opposition, a representative from New York, I believe, made a statement, and I may not quote it correctly, but he said, Congress should not make equal what God made unequal, because you're going to hear a lot of that today, of why we shouldn't have the right to marry. But that's pretty strong. And um, I kind of guess, I kind of relate to that. So I just want to thank you for this hearing. Thank you for your consideration. And thank you for helping me just become an equal citizen. Thank you. Thank you, Rep.